Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video with this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing a Radeon RX 7900 XTX in Black Myth Wukong. This one is the XFX Merc 310 version of the card, we are running it with the latest AMD drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Ups, GPU Z, resizable bar is also enabled there, and over on the left I'm pairing it with a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D CPU with half of its cores disabled, making it pretty much the same as a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, and yes, I know, the 9 x 3D is out, but I didn't get one yet. But either way, with the settings that we'll utilize, this is not going to be a bottleneck, okay? <laughs> As it usually isn't. Over on the memory tab, we're using 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 6000 mega transfers per second RAM in dual channel, and let's get right into it, shall we? As usual, let's go over the settings first. I am starting at 4K resolution, and I'm also going to test this one at 1440p and 1080p, and we're using 100% resolution scale at the moment with FSR. This is just applying FSR native AA, not upscaling from a lower resolution. So starting off at native without frame generation, this is still FSR 3.0. Wukong developers, please update it to FSR 3.1. That would be great. And by the way, I also tried XESS and TSR already, and TSR is slightly more intensive than both of the other technologies here. XESS looks surprisingly similar to FSR in this title. Both of them are very noisy, so I'm just gonna keep using FSR because it's the AMD thing. Uh, anyway, full ray tracing is turned off at the moment. It says NVIDIA right there, so I don't think it's gonna work very well with this GPU, but I'm gonna try it in just a little bit, okay? Uh, and I am using the cinematic settings to start this off, but I'm also gonna utilize some Digital Foundry Optimize settings. And uh, well, this is native 4K resolution, guys, with the 7900 XTX. It is performing very poorly here in Black Myth Wukong, guys. Obviously, it will depend on wherever you are in the map. Some areas are more intensive than others. I found this one to be pretty intensive with a lot of vegetation here. But I can tell you guys that the more vegetation there is in the picture, the more noise and pixelation you'll get. Even at... God damn... Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Even at native resolution, alright? <laughs> it's noticeable, guys. There's like an over-sharpened look, pixelated look sometimes, whenever moving the camera slowly, especially, and, and you can notice that. It's very unfortunate that you can't really disable the FSR native AA. It's very unfortunate that the X CSS also looks pretty much the same as FSR in this game, and TSR is it looks a little bit worse than both of them, at least in my eyes, okay, and in my 42-inch monitor here, uh, and it also performs a little bit slower. I feel like Nvidia has put a little hand in this title, guys, <laughs> because their DLAA looks very good, and everything else looks very bad. But anyways, <laughs> let's go, keep on going here, I should probably start fighting somebody. Actually, let's try to kill Bob. Okay, 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 let's go. Do this. Take it easy, Crisp. Take it easy. All right. Oh, boy. No. I'm all right. Oh, no, 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 no. This is terrible. Uh, okay. Of course, there's a little stutter right there whenever I turn into that uh, big-headed boy. <laughs> You know, um, that's, that's normal, it will happen every single time for the first time that you try to change forms, basically. Come on, come on, fiery boy, I need you! I need you! There it is, there it is. This is usually pretty intensive whenever you turn into fiery boy, by the way, and whenever you turn back into yourself. So, yeah, there we go. F uh, smoke effects and smire, fire, <laughs> smire effects. <laughs> smoke effects and fire effects are very intensive. Um, on cinematic settings, by the way, with Digital Foundry settings, it doesn't really work like that, okay? I am doing this. This is like the, the best that I've done against Bob yet. So that's not bad at all. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, stop throwing enemies at me. Bob, please. Oh my. We, we got pretty close, right? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop it right there. This, this is not really that great. If you want cinematic settings, you'll need to utilize some sort of upscaling or frame generation. Let's try frame generation here. The baseline FPS are at 30, of course, as you saw. So frame generation should feel pretty bad, actually. I see a lot of 
flickering. Yeah, the grass is flickering like crazy here. I don't like that look, guys. This doesn't work very well, unfortunately. Also, with these FPS, I wouldn't really consider playing with frame generation. There's a lot of input lag being added to the game if you utilize this technology with around 60 FPS, and it even drops from 60 FPS, right? So that's pretty much a terrible experience with frame generation. So yeah, frame generation is just useless here at native 4K with um, the cinematic settings. So I'm just gonna turn it off again, <laughs> all right? And we're gonna mess around with the upscaler right here. So I'm gonna set it to 67%, which is FSR 3.0 on quality. Uh, and as you can see, <laughs> <laughs> well, we get very similar FPS as frame generation over native resolution, maybe a little bit lower than that sometimes, but the image quality just gets completely wrecked. You can see, if I turn the camera around, everything becomes really over-sharpened all of a sudden, and there's a lot of pixelation, blurriness as well around the, the grass leaves. It's just not... A very good picture even at 4k resolution but now the baseline FPS are actually okay ish right it's above 50 frames per second for the most part here so it's not terrible for frame generation I'm gonna try that out okay here we go frame generation is now turned on also I know there's AFMF2 through the drivers if you want to utilize that also GPU usage is not completely maxing out anymore interestingly but okay, it's not a CPU bottleneck or anything, <laughs> once again. Just because the 9800X 3D is out doesn't mean that this CPU becomes weak all of a sudden and it can't handle these GPUs, all right? Especially at 4K with these settings. Um, something else must be going on. Anyway, it feels really smooth at the moment, okay? And since it is pretty smooth, it actually disguises the fact that there's a lot of pixelation happening, you know? So that is pretty welcomed, actually. If you are playing at 4K cinematic settings in Wukong, please don't look close to, to your character and stuff like that, because especially here, running through grass and so on, it's really, really noisy <laughs> and pixelated. But I mean, that smoothness, though. That is really smooth compared to what we've experienced so far. Oh, boy. You know what? Maybe I'm just going to die on purpose, because I want to... Uh, have full health for the boss fight again. But yeah, with these FPS and this smoothness, I think it's going to be a way better experience, and we're above 75 frames per second all of the time, apparently, so no problems there, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! God damn! This guy, dude! This guy! He's so annoying! Okay, okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Fight the best. Fight the best. Let's go. Head thingy. Yes, there it is. And uh, did you see it didn't stutter this time because it had already loaded previously? Come on, let's go fiery boy, actually. Do this. No, 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 no. What is he doing? Stop. I need my fiery boy. There we go. Good stuff. Another one, please. Come. Look at that. Oh, boy. Okay, he's throwing the enemies at us. Oh, and he's eating us. Oh my god, I'm dead already. <laughs> it's so hard, guys. I, I don't think I'm ever going to kill Bob in this one, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck here forever, but at least this is a good area to benchmark this game at. It gets more intensive than this, though. <laughs> By Act 3, as you guys have told me, it gets even more demanding, which is insane. And it's just a snowy part of the game, you know? It's, it has no right to be that demanding. How is snow more intensive than all of this grass around here, right? Let's select like 50% resolution scale. This is going to be performance FSR, basically. Uh, that's, yeah. You know what? That looks terrible. <laughs> it's super pixelated, even at 4K resolution. Damn. And I mean, DLSS did look really good at performance, you know, with 50% resolution scale. It's a shame what they've done with the other upscalers in this game. Look at that. Whoa. That's like the biggest pixelation that I've seen in, in recent times. <laughs> well, so don't use performance FSR, please. <laughs> 
<laughs> now let's go back to 100% with no frame generation. I'm gonna go down to 1440p resolution. All right, here we go, 2560 by 1440 resolution now using FSR 100% and cinematic settings and... Yeah, it is it is below 60 FPS for a native resolution picture. It looks super pixelated because the FSR native AA still makes things super pixelated, guys. It is insane. This game I again, like it was probably made with DLEA in mind or DLSS and they just crapped on the other upscalers. It sucks really, like Ugh, <laughs> I hate to see it, guys. If they had implemented FSR 3.1, which was already out by the time this game released, it would have been so much better. Like, we've seen FSR 3 versus FSR 3.1 in games like uh, Horizon Forbidden West um, and, and like Spider-Man Remastered as well. I have tested that. And it looks so much better with FSR 3.1 in terms of the pixelation. This game would heavily benefit from that. Here comes Bob. That's Bob in Chinese, by the way. Let's go with the big headed boy. There we go. There we go. There it is. I'm starting to do some things. Okay, 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 okay. Just go back. Go back a little bit. Yes, sir. Drink whatever the crap this is. I don't even know what I just drank, but yes, we need to drink everything that we can. Stop throwing rocks, Bob. Okay, hit him. No! No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Oh, my God! Stop, 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 stop. All right, I'm just gonna go into the fiery boy because I am panicking here already, dropping down into the 40s when I changed that, by the way. Uh, come on, come on, fiery boy. Let's go! Come on, again, once again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. This is terrible. All right, maybe I just got to keep hitting his ass. <laughs> That's it. Stop! My God! What the hell? Oh, this is so chaotic. And I just wasted my spell, the statue spell. My... Okay. Okay. Heavy attack. It's fine, guys. It's fine. I'm used to it at this point. 59 FPS average, 44 1% lows. Yeah. 1440p native. Th this card can do like 100 FPS plus, I think, on average in Starfield at 1440p native. The state of gaming with these UE5 titles is absolutely insane. Anyway, this is where things become a bit tricky in terms of the upscaling. If you utilize FSR uh, quality here, you know, I'm just gonna apply that and show it to you. It, it, it looks terrible. It is very smooth. It gets 80 FPS, as you can see, kind of the same as the 4090 once again, but at native 1440p, I believe. Um, but yeah, it, it's <laughs> it's a really smooth experience compared to what we've seen so far. It's definitely noticeable, the difference in smoothness, but it looks so bad. It... <sighs> and the thing is, XESS usually gets close in visual quality to um, the LSS, you know, but here... With 66% resolution scale or 67, it's just it's the same crap as FSR. I think it's even more pixelated, honestly. Less noisy, I think, but more pixelated. It's crazy. What you should utilize, since the baseline FPS were close to 60, is frame generation. This will give you an image quality very similar to 1440p native, which wasn't really looking fantastic once again, since. Yeah, this game is super pixelated once again, even at native resolution, because you can't disable any of the AAs from the upscalers, you know? Okay, here we are, getting 100 FPS. This is nothing that we haven't seen before, I think. It's getting very close FPS to FSR FG plus quality uh, FSR and 4K resolution, you know? So it's going to be really, really smooth like this. In terms of input lag, it's also pretty decent. And I could definitely enjoy the game like this. Again, I, my major gripe is that noise. But if you can look around it, I guess, or if you can ignore it, <laughs> right, um, it's going to be fine. Here it is. Again, again, again. Please be faster than him. There it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, though. Okay, let me just go away for a little bit. Use this again, drink the stuffs of uh, legends. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he just smashes me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 no. There comes the bomb, boys. The 
Bobs, bombs, dudes. I had more than half HP there when he started throwing things at me. This is completely unfair. Oh, by the way, th this doesn't look like 1080p, does it? I am baffled that they still got this problem going on so long after launch, right? Like, all you need to do if your graphics look like crap like that is turn this to windowed mode and then switch to borderless once again and now it will look like proper 1080p, okay? It... <laughs> Come on, like, th this bug has been here since the game released and it's not fixed, so that's why I think nothing will get better in this title. Yeah, this is 1920 by 1080, 100% resolution scale, all right, cinematic settings, and we found the perfect 1080p GPU. The 7900 XTX, guys, is now a 1080p card in this title if you want to max it out at native resolution at least above 60 FPS all of the time. Yes, yes. This is what you need. <laughs> this or like a 4080 or 4080 Super. Oh, they're gonna throw things at me. We gotta go. <laughs> we gotta keep moving, guys. We got this, this, this map is so hostile everywhere you go. Actually, before I started recording today, I was seeing if uh, it was worth utilizing XESS instead of FSR here in this title. And I, I kid you not, I spent three or four minutes just trying to find an area where people wouldn't attack me. Well, people, <laughs> monsters wouldn't attack me, all right? <laughs> like, they just keep following you forever, basically. Let's go, let's go. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, regenerate stamina. All right, we're good. It's gonna come for us, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the fiery boy now, dropping into the low 60s at times, or mid 60s. Come on. Fiery boy, please. Fiery boy, please. There we go. Okay, okay. He's gonna attack us again. Let's go. Move away. Move away. All right. It's all good. Let's go with the head boy. There we go. I see that whenever I restart the game, for the first time that I do the head boy, uh, he actually starts stuttering uh, all over the place. Well, it has that big stutter. That's it. Okay, let's go with this. Yeah, this is what we need to do. Of course. This is perfect for when he throws the bombs at us. How did I not remind myself of this previously? Or remembered it? Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Heavy attack. There we go. He also attacks us every single time I do this. Drink this thing. Okay, the potion of madness is with us, my friends. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack. No, no. Run away, run away. Run away. Drink. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's less than half HP now. No more mana. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. No, no, no. Drink. Healing. Healing potions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're fine. We're fine. She's gonna go in this direction now. Breathe for a little bit. <laughs> a very small bit, actually. All right. Throwing rocks at us. That's fine. Okay. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Shoot him in the ass. God! Whoa, 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 whoa! Drink, 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 drink. Just calm down, calm down, El Crispo. It's going to be all right. I wish I had mana. If I had mana, we would be be killing him already, guys. How do you get more mana? <laughs> that would be awesome. I can use the four. I can use. No, no, no. The four. Yes! Fiery boy to the rescue! Come on! Come on! Come on! One more! One more! We're almost there. We're almost there. Yes. Come on. Who? Almost. It's now, guys. No. Come on. Bob, die. Yes. Oh. That was crazy. We did it. I can't believe this. <sighs> See, you need good FPS. <laughs> That's what you need. Let's try to aim for a high refresh rate experience now. Let's enable FSR frame generation here over native 1080p and now we're getting 100 plus frames per second all of the time no problems absolute buttery smooth of an experience aside from the little stutters that will happen from time to time because of ue5 start counting the frames go in this direction little stutter there probably needs to load this new area so it's probably going to have a couple of more stutters than usual <laughs> i'm almost dead <laughs> 
<laughs> it took like more than half of my HP there with those couple of attacks. This is bad. All right, let's go in this direction. Explore a little bit. Probably gonna die if I go there, right? Huge chains. What is going on here in this area? Can we go down? Yes, we can. Sliding like Apex Legends. Okay, so I'm not gonna go to that incense thingy over there, because... How are you singing? You don't have a mouth. I'm not sure if I should continue this path uh, or just go back to the other area and test it again there because we've already tried it there, right? So it's better for comparing the Digital Foundry settings. I'm not sure if this area is, is more intensive or not. 150s, 160s, super buttery smooth, guys. And there's a huge door. Okay, let's open this up. See what's on the other side of the door. And, oh, it's this guy again. See, I've been here before. Okay, well, you know what? That's enough. <laughs> That's enough 1080p because a lot of people won't really play at 1080p with the XTX, right? It's going to be absolutely fine even with the cinematic settings, but we should go back to 4K resolution now and play with Digital Foundry settings to see how much better of an experience can we make it. All right, we're back to 4K resolution, no frame generation, 100% resolution scale, and the Digital Foundry's settings for high-end systems with cinematic texture quality instead of very high they put very high there but we got enough vram for cinematic textures of course instead of getting like 30 to 40 fps most of the time which is what we got on cinematic settings the maximum we're getting 40 50 50 plus sometimes i guess yeah it goes over 50 but i mean it's still not that impressive right <laughs> like this is a very expensive gpu and with optimized settings, basically, because these are optimized for the best visuals to performance ratio on a high-end system, it is still below 60 FPS, with like the second or third best GPU on the market right now. It's, it's crazy, right? The UE5 is just, it's a beast. Now, in terms of the visual difference between these settings and the, the cinematic settings, they are very similar, you know, I can notice maybe there's a little bit less emit occlusion or uh, maybe a bit less grass as well overall. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> there's still a lot of grass here. Um, but that's about it. I can't really notice any major difference and we do gain quite a bit higher FPS as well. Instead of 30s getting 49 on average is way better and very welcomed. So if you want to play at 4K or 1440p, I would play with these settings for sure with the XTX right here. At 1080p, well, you already saw it was a perfect experience um, at cinematic settings, so there's no need to utilize these settings. Obviously, you're going to get more FPS if you do so, but I won't really bother testing 1080p again, especially because a lot of people won't be playing at 1080p. And if you are, you might as well just max out the settings. Why not, right? <laughs> now, um, changing to the Fiery Boy form won't really affect our FPS, as you can see drops to like two frames per second previously it would drop by a lot going back to our original form 43 frames per second it dropped to two fps again i think so it's going to be more stable as well in terms of uh, the difference whenever effects happening and so on and smoke effects and all of that stuff so it is not terrible but is it good <laughs> I, I don't know. I wish we could see 60 plus FPS at native resolution, but that's not going to be possible, unfortunately. With FSR quality, however, it is going to be possible. As you can see, it's getting 70s. Not a problem. It feels way smoother, way better. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please. No, you know what? I'm going to do to you the same thing. Oh no. I, I can't use the, the head boy again. Okay. I thought I could. All right. There we go. Yeah, maybe it's going to drop in that Act 3 or whatever, the snowy area, <laughs> which is more intensive than this. So it might drop into like the 60s or so, but I, I doubt it will drop from 60 FPS using these settings, guys. Now let's go back to 100% resolution scale, enable frame generation here, over native. It's a little bit less pixelated than before, with quality uh, FSR, of course. And, uh, yeah, whenever the FPS start dropping into the mid-70s or low-70s, you can notice that difference. It is not amazing, guys, in terms of input lag. 
Ah, Double-edged sword, guys. Use FSR quality, you get great responsiveness and bad graphics. Use FSR frame generation, you got bad responsiveness and better graphics. Not great, but better graphics. And either way, you're going to see very similar FPS around 80s, 70s. It's okay. It's not amazing, really. Let's try FSR quality now with frame generation enabled on optimized settings. And now, oof. okay, so now we're above 100 FPS. It will feel really responsive with the mouse as well. It will feel really, really smooth at the same time. So... If you are after that higher refresh rate experience, this is definitely going to provide that. Yeah, overall, it's it's a very stable experience like this with frame generation enabled, FSR quality at the same time. Not bad. You know what? If you want that higher refresh rate experience at 4K resolution, this is it. Obviously, visual quality suffers because of FSR quality and the implementation being bad in this game. But it is not the end of the world, I think. I would actually be completely fine and recommend this experience, especially with a smaller monitor where you can't tell the pixelation as much. Okay, now we're at 1440p resolution, 100% resolution scale, no frame gen and digital foundry settings. And all right, guys, we're getting very similar FPS to what we saw at 1080p native previously, I guess. Maybe slightly higher even. So the Digital Foundry optimized settings are definitely making a huge difference at 1440p to the point where you no longer need any frame gen or any upscaling at all if you want to get 60+. plus. This works extremely well now, okay? I don't even need to spend a lot of time testing it here at these settings because you already know it is really decent. Now there's Bob over there. <laughs> Bob in his true form. This is it. This is him, my friends. Yes. <laughs> Come on. We got very close to him. It's nice to, to check it out. Come on. That's another... Why aren't they attacking me now? Maybe I wasn't supposed to come in this way. But yeah, there's no need for any trickery at all in terms of um, upscalers. This is going to be a pretty stable experience. Obviously not without its... A uh, little bit of um, stuttering here and there, but it works. Yeah, it's super stable. If you want to, it to be even more smooth and even more stable, there's always frame generation, of course, which you can utilize here and achieve. <laughs> Holy crap! 140 plus FPS or 130 plus FPS all over the time. And this keeps the same visual fidelity, kind of. It might have some artifacting here and there, but I just can't really notice anything wrong with it. The FPS are super high, so yeah, it's very hard to notice any weirdness going on in the picture, especially given that there was already weirdness in the picture before, <laughs> you know? This is great. It's good stuff now. If you have a 1440p monitor, use this. I think it's going to work very well. This or native resolution, of course. So it just proves that if you are willing to mess around with some of the settings, find a, a good balance, you can still make the game look good and perform way better at the same time. Still not very well optimized, obviously, but it's a heck of a lot better than the cinematic settings. And lastly, guys, we're back to 4K resolution using FSR 100%, so native res, Full ray tracing is on, and it's on medium. Not going to tempt, like, very high here, okay, or low. Just going to set it to medium. I think it's the good balance. And we're still using Digital Foundry settings. Ah, and here we are, guys. It's the slideshow experience at 4K resolution with the XTX. Ray tracing in this game was definitely not made for the AMD GPUs. And I mean, they even tell you that. NVIDIA full ray tracing or whatever it is <laughs> that's in the options menu. Okay, let's use like 67% resolution scale with frame generation on. All right, it's not even cinematic settings with ray tracing. It's just... Digital Foundry settings optimized with ray tracing. And now we have a lot of flickering happening once again. I noticed that on Digital Foundry settings, it didn't flicker, actually. And on cinematic settings, it did. That was weird, right? Interesting. 
Um, but yeah, this this has a lot of input lag right now. The FPS are with frame generation, so they're not native FPS that we're seeing here. It flickers. It's not responsive. It's terrible, guys. This this experience is not not good at all. Uh, let's just disable this. Set this back to 100%. Play at 1440p resolution. <laughs> and restart the game as well. Here we go, 2560 by 1440 now using 100% resolution scale, ray tracing with the digital foundry settings. And uh, well, it, it, it got much better actually, but it still drops a lot into the 20s as you can see. Ugh, yeah, as soon as you start fighting and so on, it will definitely start dropping. So it, it just, it feels terrible <laughs> once again. <laughs> and there's not much you can do once again um, to make it better. You could use like 67% resolution scale, which will look very, very pixelated at 1440p and not even get you 60 FPS. It's in the 40s now. At least it won't drop from 30, right? So I, I guess if, if all you want is 30 frames per second, you can play with ray tracing at 1440p. I wouldn't though. The game doesn't look extremely different with ray tracing, although the shadow quality, especially at the distance, does look very good um, with RT on compared to RT off. But it's not... You, you gotta use FSR at 1440p, you know? It, it looks very bad. Like... Around the character, everything is a blur at this point, or a pixelated mess. It's really bad. It's definitely not worth enabling ray tracing here if you haven't gotten the point already. <laughs> Let's try with FSR frame generation on top. This way we can finally get over 60 FPS. It's probably going to dip down into the 70s sometimes, so this is where the controller would come in handy once again. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of ghosting as well yeah it's pretty terrible guys it's also stuttering more than usual now with the ray tracing enabled ray tracing usually makes it stutter a little bit more uh, with ue5 as well it's just it's a mess uh, i hate to see this guys but uh, it is what it is let's go to 1080p resolution check out ray tracing there okay here we are guys 1080p native res with ray tracing it can finally get 30 plus at native 1080p with RT on, but it looks like crap, guys. I'm not sure if it looks more pixelated with ray tracing now. It's pretty weird. It didn't look this bad, I think, at 1080p previously. So maybe RT just gives it even a, a more pixelated look. It's, it's weird. I, I'm not sure about that. It's, it might be placebo. Sometimes it is, okay? It's a terrible experience for what it is, once again. Uh, ray tracing is not worth utilizing with this card. I haven't seen a, a game where it is worth utilizing with this card yet, <laughs> but I haven't tested many games with ray tracing with this GPU as well, so there's that. Maybe I should make a ray tracing video on the 7900XTX just testing the games with ray tracing, you know? Um, but yeah, this is it, guys. You'll need to utilize some frame generation still if you want 1080p 60fps, okay? <laughs> And obviously this puts it into the 70s, which doesn't feel great with the mouse and keyboard. So you got to utilize a controller on top of everything. Because <laughs> with mouse and keyboard, you can feel a lot of input lag once again. So if you want good, stable input lag at 1080p, you got to use FSR quality at 1080p with ray tracing. Oh my god, it's so pixelated, it's terrible. And even then, it's probably going to drop into the 50s sometimes. Look at that, 61, 60. Yeah, it's definitely going to dip down sometimes. Oh my. Don't use ray tracing. <laughs> All right. Don't use ray tracing. Even with the NVIDIA GPUs, I wouldn't use ray tracing in this game. Maybe with the 4090, but that's about it. Everything else should disable ray tracing in Black Myth Wukong. All right. And that's been it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. 7900 XTX does struggle a bit here in Black Myth Wukong, but it's down to the engine itself. It's down to the optimization. And it's down to them not caring too much about other uh, GPU vendors, but at least you can make it playable for sure and you can still have a great experience in Black Myth Wukong Nevertheless, all right. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Love you all. 
Bye-bye.